our approach to uh, our research at the, in the imaging group at Robots is really a team-based approach. All our teams involve individuals from different disciplines working together uh, to solve the problem. And the problem, of course, is cancer. When my old, next oldest brother was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer, uh, our doctor said that uh, there was a chance of one in two. The chances had doubled that someone else in uh, my siblings had, would get it. Now that I've had it, it's six times more. I'm one of six boys and uh, I have a lot of nephews. I have a son of my own and he has a son. So there's a chance for any one of those to get cancer. Imagine being told you were cancer free, being told that your treatment was successful, and then sometime later learning that the cancer had returned. Our lab is developing and applying imaging techniques to detect and monitor cancer cells as they grow and metastasize. We hope that new methods involving molecular imaging with magnetic res resonance imaging, such as sodium imaging, will allow us to non-invasively characterize lesions in the prostate. This will be important for the initial diagnosis of this disease. We also believe it will be an important tool for active surveillance for those individuals who do not receive radical treatment, but to allow us to follow the course of the disease to, to determine uh, how quickly or how slowly that tumor is progressing. The most common scourges of the society is either do you have a stroke, you have a heart attack, well, you have a cancer. So that is why I choose to specialize my research at this point in my career into investigating how we could help cancer patients. The uniqueness of my work is that we are using a CT scanner that is widely available in hospitals, but we are developing new methods of scanning and new methods of analysis that is producing this blood flow information that is not commonly available. We have developed robotic devices uh, to be able to use images to be able to uh, target, localize the cancer and guide the needle to a target and make sure it's the correct location, turn on the therapy and monitor the therapy as we're delivering it. I wanted to have an impact and the impact in this case would be on patients. I didn't want to have my research, my work, uh, be published and then put on some shelf and a lot of people reading it and, and left it there. I wanted to make sure that whatever we did in my lab would actually have an impact on people, on people's lives, and in this case, cancer. So, um, so this is why I'm still passionate about it. I was passionate when I started and I'm passionate today.